What advice would you give to a 14 year old about starting high school? Enjoy your personal relationships, but never let any negative interactions affect you too heavily. That's way easier said than done, but in all honesty you will never see most people you encounter during your HS days again after graduation. Let the haters hate. You be you. Use this time to learn what you like. Explore your options most importantly try to be yourself without caring what other people think. Again. That won't be easy, but if you can do it you'll thank yourself later. We're rooting for you. Edit. A word. This. I stopped giving a shit towards the end of freshman year, and it has helped my mental health quite a bit. I took this to heart a little too much when I was younger and stopped giving a shit about everything, and I think it contributed to some mental health problems. Give a shit about the things that matter. Forget the rest. To me, maturity is knowing how to decide which is which. Yeah actually I completely agree with this. I give one singular shit and distribute it exactly where and when it's necessary. Forgive yourself when necessary. It's high school. You're probably going to do something stupid. If you have even a remote interest in joining something. Try it out. But don't be ashamed if it ends up not working out and you end up quitting. Basically it'll be way easier if you are able to forgive yourself easily. Excellent advice. Just a little more on joining extracurriculars. They're fantastic opportunities to both learn skills, try things out, and see what you like. And also to make connections and meet people. Like the above comment said. Try them out. If you don't like one then you can always leave and try something else. If you don't know what extracurriculars you might want to do. Some schools will have open houses with booths from different activities. Which are easy ways to find out what might interest you. Also don't just do things that you think will make the best resume slash college application booster. Try and have a few that you're genuinely interested in. Also don't worry about overextending yourself. If you have too much then you can cut back, but cross that bridge when you get there. I loaded up on advanced classes freshman and sophomore year and now I can't find an ounce of effort to put in. I dropped all my advanced classes, so let's how this goes. All in all. Don't feel you need to get everything done in just a couple years. Having an interest makes you interesting. In high school I had a ridiculous obsession with Rubik's Cube speed solving. I started bringing puzzles to school every day and solving them during class. Previously I wasn't popular at all but eventually I became known as the Rubik's Cube guy. I feel like every school has to have at least one Rubik's Cube guy. We did have several guys who constantly solved Sudokus during class, especially math. Also done guy copied the map of risk and glued to the inside of his folder to play with the guy next to him. Worked very well. Damn. I'd love to play risk in class. It's okay to grow apart from your friends from middle school and make new ones. How do I make new ones? Express your true interests and let them find you, or try and seek those with the same interests. Instructions unclear. Ended up in Russian Mafia. I'm the machine. Good friends, real good friends, will push you to be your better self. Encourage good habits, and want the best for you. Anyone who tells you to act against that is an asshole. Stay away from them. The thing that I always struggle with is getting rid of the asshole friends after I realize that they're an asshole. Get involved in some extracurricular activity like tennis or theater or debate or swimming or something you're interested in. You will make friends and it's really nourishing to be a part of a community. Don't slack off on grades thinking you'll have time to pull them up. So true. It'll keep that in mind. To add on to this, if your grades are amazing, still take time to study either your schoolwork or something in the same field. Study skills will become invaluable after leaving high school, especially if you go to college. Personally I really struggled in my first year of uni because I breezed through high school and never learned how to study for myself. Don't take anything too seriously. People are assholes just for the sake of it. Almost everyone you think is important, cool, or attractive, you will never think about again after you graduate. I know it's really hard to do this right now, but try not to care very much about other people's opinions. You do you. At the same time, definitely take that class you want to, if it fits into your schedule. 
You don't need to impress everyone. Damn near everyone you meet in high school won't matter in your life after you graduate. Still. It's important to maintain good social relations with other people from your school, both for your short-term well-being and for learning social skills that you will use in the future. High school is the time for experimenting and training for the life ahead of you, so you should behave as if these people did matter. For sure. But I think Op was saying not to worry about seeking validity from these people. You're absolutely right that it's important to maintain your social skills. But don't feel like you have to impress these people in a way that suggests their opinions of you will have any bearing in the world outside of HS. Don't compromise yourself just to be included in a certain group. Don't try to force an interest. Pretend to be a fan of something you aren't into. Whatever. Genuine friends will be made naturally. Never send anybody photos of your junk. Check your inbox BBY. What the duck? He slash she is, most likely, not the one. Don't stick around, because you're afraid of being alone at it. Thanks for my first award ever. I cold really used this one a couple years back. World made my high school time so much better. I just regret spending all that time on and off with my ex now. Nobody expects you to be a mature, deep thinking adult in high school. You were a teen. The mistakes you make in youth are the things you learn from. In time. That relationship and that time of your life will seem so insignificant. You learned from it. Move on. High school senior here. The opinions of ducking 15 years old don't matter. What they think is cringe probably isn't even that cringe. Do whatever you want. And even though it's hard be yourself for 100%. You might not be liked by all. But the ones who will. Are gonna be good people. You're absolutely right. But number 15 year old in the world is gonna listen to that advice. IDK. I'm 14 and that seems reasonable. Will I start becoming comically stupid at 15? No. You've been comically stupid your whole life and you will be forever. It's how you grow as a person. Understandable. Have a nice day. Pay attention to the way your friends talk about your mutual friends to you. This is exactly the way they speak of you to them. If you have a secret that you don't want to get out, don't tell a single person. No, not even your best friend. Nobody. If your parents have concerns about someone you're dating or one of your friends, pay attention and listen to them. They are really wrong about this. Overall, just try to have fun and grow. You will fall into the rut of this sucks I can't wait to graduate, but you will miss some of it eventually. The dating one especially. My friends didn't trust my boyfriend. My mom didn't trust my boyfriend. The school bullies didn't trust my boyfriend. Did I listen? No. Did I get it constantly and cheated on? Yes. First two points can be discussed, but even the bullies not trusting him is a giant ass red flag. Was I lonely and vulnerable and thoroughly convinced he wasn't that bad? Also a yes. This is what those people exploit. Practice better self-reflection. Stay quiet, listen more than you speak, and actually think about what you're doing slash saying slash thinking slash feeling. I had way too many instances where I looked back at myself and just thought what the duck was that. Also, you should know, when you're stressed your rational decision making skills drop quickly. Even if you think you're fine, you're probably not. I won't tell you to talk with someone, god knows I never did, but each day, when you get home take a look at everything you did and said, and try to reason out why without emotional justification. Don't be afraid to keep a daily journal. I know it sounds lame, but it will help you keep track of your thought patterns and stresses. Don't feel embarrassed to apologize for your re-actions, even if the other person doesn't. This is important too. A lot of teenagers and young adults ruin their lives by not thinking of their decisions. Figure out which friends are real and which are fake. Don't procrastinate. You got this. I'm currently procrastinating on not procrastinating right now. Get your work done. Don't put it off. Don't make excuses. Get it done. Approximately 86. 4% of your grades will be the work you turn in. You can't get out of it. You can't lie about it. And I promise, you'll feel better having time at home to do what you like. 
rather than being punished for not doing what you were supposed to do at school. Be serious about the work, and you'll find that your teachers will respect you for it. And for Dileep Gots, it's not that hard. I should work on not procrastinating them. If you do as much work as possible in class instead of goofing off as soon as you finish the class walk, you can avoid taking home probably 90% of homework. Knowing this you have a choice, do the homework at home and hang with friends in class, or do it in class and be free after school. You can do it either way, but if you acknowledge that you're making a choice, you've given yourself a reward for doing the work. For example, I did my homework in class. So now I get to play Sparks longer, or I have to do this homework now, but I got to chat with friends today. Either way, the connection of doing the work to getting the reward makes you more likely to feel motivated to do it. To add to this, get things done quickly in class and use free time wisely to do homework you can't avoid. I personally had a problem with multiple classes because 70% of my grade was based on homework the teacher assigned specifically as homework. And of course I never did anything at home. I have ADHD. It was hard. But I had lunch pretty late in the day and my harder classes were in the morning. I just knocked out homework with my friends during lunch. Okay we were nerds. But it was helpful for subjects like math and Latin. Time efficient. Be one of those guys that just does trick shots and stuff. And not those guys that smokes in the bathroom. Underrated advice. Hey, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.